Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collections class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at contains and contains strict, two very similar methods, but I will show you some differences. Let's dive right in. For our first example, let's go ahead and collect a single value in an array. Let's just call it value one. And then we're going to check if it contains value. And nope, it does not. It returns false. So we are looking for an explicit string. Let's go ahead and add the one. And sure enough, we get true. Great. Now let's wrap this with a key. Let's say key equals value one. Let's take a look at our example. And sure enough, we're still true. Now let's pass in a first parameter here of other comma. Let me divide this into two lines so it's easier to read. And that returns false. Now if we change this key to other and ran that again, we still get false. And that might be a little unexpected. Now to make this actually be true, let's split this into a new line and then wrap it inside its very own array. So now we have an array inside an array. Let's run this again and we get true. There we go. So when you are searching for a specific key and value pair, it does have to be paired as a key value pair inside your collection. It cannot simply be an array. So keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look at another example. As many collections, you can actually pass in a closure. So let's try that now. Let's collect an array of numbers, say one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then in a new line, we'll set contains. Now inside contains, like I said before, we're gonna pass in a closure. All right, so we'll say value and then key. And then here you have to return true or false. Now it will test each of the entries inside your collection and see if it matches. We'll say return true if the value is greater than 10. Let's take a look at the results and we get false. That's expected. What about if we turn this down to four? Let's turn it again and you get true. So what it's doing is it's checking, is one greater than four? Nope. Is two greater than four? Nope. Is three greater than four? Nope. So on and so forth until finally it gets to five and says, is five greater than four? True. So the whole thing returns true because it does contain numbers that are greater than four. All right. What about contains strict? Okay, I want to show you a couple of examples because contains strict and contains at a glance are very similar, but I do want to show you some subtle differences on how it does its comparison. Let's go ahead and delete this whole thing and start over with a brand new example. Let's say we have 15 as an integer. So we collected 15 as an integer, and then let's call the contains method on it as we've done before and pass in the string equivalent of 15. What do you expect to get here? Well, we get true. Depending on what kind of programming you're doing, this may or may not be okay. PHP is a very dynamic language and it will interpret an integer 15 as equivalent to a string of 15. It's one of the things that makes PHP so popular. However, it may not be okay for your program, in which case you can use contains strict. And let's test this again and we get false contains strict, we'll do a strict comparison, and so those two things will not be equal. Let's see another example that you may not expect. Let's collect the string 0015, and let's run contains the string 15. You get true. Now this may be really throwing you off. At a glance, those things may not be equal. However, contains does return true. If that is not okay, then you can switch over to contains strict. I want to show you one more example just to drive the point home. I'm going to go back to contains and I'm going to add three spaces to the front and I'm going to add one space here. Let's see, we still get true. So again, if you use strict, that will equal to false. And there it is. So one thing to note about contains and contains strict is that it does return a Boolean. So you could not add other method calls at the end of this. If I tried to call first on it, of course, we're going to blow up. That's not going to work. So just keep that in mind whenever you use contains. 